My journey as an architect began very early in life. Um, right from my childhood, I have been really fascinated by architecture because I had I had saw my dad right there in front of me practicing as an architect. So I think that was one thing that really fascinated me. So uh, maybe in my early school days when uh, he used to go into onto his drawing board and sit and sketch and uh, do all kinds of uh, three-dimensional views, which was all on paper, unlike what is happening now, everything on the system. So he used to sit day and night on to even get one three-dimensional image. And I used to go um, take these uh, rotary pens and sit and do the stippling and uh, the catching and all these things. So right from school days, I've had I've known how to handle a rotary pen, or I've known how to handle a, a paint brush. And uh, he, uh, I used to just help him out with just um, uh, washing the paint brushes. And these were the small things that I started way back in school. And as I grew coming into this, I, 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 I realized I am passionate about architecture, but uh, I knew the demands were high and uh, we need to score a lot of high uh, marks for that. So I wasn't really sure I would get into architecture. But God in his own divine way brought me into architecture. I studied in the School of Architecture and Planning on IMST and uh, passed out um, uh, well. I really want to, uh, at this moment, uh, be grateful to the college where I studied and the classmates who, were, who were there with me because this five years of architecture study was really something that groomed me. And then moving, uh, I, coming out of college, immediately I joined my dad's firm and uh, practiced there for the five years under his uh, mentoring, under his leadership. And I think he really uh, went all out to uh, shape me, to give me uh, the right foundations that I needed to practice as an architect and gave me the overall exposure which uh, an architect requires to handle an office, to handle uh, people, to uh, go about the design skills, uh, to even grasp about what it means to have scale and proportion. All these things were some things that I learned under him. Then uh, got married, uh, got married to a person who is an MEP consultant. So um, after that, I realized that uh, we both could really uh, do a good job together giving solutions to our clients. Um, so we uh, came back from Bangalore and we, God really wanted us to start this capstone and so it was his initiation and we brought about, uh, the capstone was initiated way back 2010 and uh, we are 11 years old now and uh, uh, the journey has been fantastic. Uh, it's not that it's been a smooth ride, it has had its own um, uh, roller coaster uh, rides all through but I really um, uh, am joyful where we are and uh, know that this is the place um, that I have to be because that's my calling that's uh, something that I really enjoy being and um, architecture is not just about building buildings or uh, being there for uh, creating built environments it's also about building lives through the build, uh, building that so I, I like the whole aspect of being a bridge between the built environment and building lives and so that really connects me to what uh, I'm really doing so that's uh, something that I like to really share so it's about 18 years of experience in this whole field I cherish every moment of learning every moment of shaping that has happened over the past uh, to where I am right now as a woman architect there are a lot of challenges in a, in a, in a scenario where uh, it's more of a male uh, uh, dominated case. But I think uh, growing up the dad who really uh, encouraged me, he gave me that uh, confidence, he gave me that uh, area of being courageous wherever it comes to and so that really helped me to, uh, to uh, look at how things can be handled. Uh, one of the uh, crucial challenges that you often face in the scenario is handling with people who are older to you, who are experienced to you, but um, are so um, a fixed mind. They have a fixed mindset. They don't want to innovate. They don't want to take any risks. They don't want to go out of the way to do anything. They want to just stick to that uh, single way. That's when the challenges really come. And as a girl, to really uh, get them in, I mean, it's a very humbling experience actually to go down to that level and say come on we are a team we wanted to achieve this so let's go together and then have that whole thing uh, being accomplished the project being accomplished or to meet the requirements it's always been a challenge um, 
even a uh, few weeks back i i i mean came across a contractor who couldn't accept a woman architect and uh, so i had to go down down to the level and say see here we are here as a team wanting to achieve what the client wants and so we need to work together we need to go through extra mile to ensure the client is happy and satisfied with both our services what we are rendering to him and when that uh, uh, that uh, platform is created and a platform where they feel comfortable is created then the going becomes a little bit like so that, that those are challenges that i face and i'm still facing there have been times that i really thought i quit architecture architecture is not for me i think after 10 years or something i really thought let's quit architecture but then to see how um, uh, the passion within you just doesn't allow you to just quit but uh, gives you the inner strength Uh, to push on, to shine wherever you are, and uh, I think that's the area that I have been blessed. So who am I to be really advise young architects? I I am nobody here, but uh, to see the generation that is coming up right now, I'm really uh, it's brilliant actually. The the kind of people that are coming up are really they're really smart kids. They're really uh, smart and uh, quite well versed in the technology. that has come up so the software skills and everything that they are develop uh, is amazing from uh, things so they they are a brilliant uh, team that's coming up that's getting churned up from the colleges right now uh, but uh, very sad uh, what i see is a lack of mentoring for these young kids um, so i uh, i feel um, that is something that uh, uh, the young athletes and need to really take the effort to see that they find some senior architects who can understand them well who can mentor them well who can help them lay the right foundations who can give them a very holistic approach to what architecture is all about because i really know a uh, feel architecture is not just about having design skills or you just coming up with a three dimensional view it's not just about that it's something more than that and so you need to really have those um uh, skills to uh, look into the details to have an eye for details to have uh, the analytic and analytical thinking the problem solving skills um, the envisioning of the whole thing for future not just because a client comes into you you just think only for now but you also go the extra mile be proactive take the initiative to go beyond what they need so those are some of the things that uh, classrooms cannot teach but it is something that some individuals when you actually work on the individuals they the way they approach projects the way they do things that kind of gives you the ground uh, to this so that the whole fraternity of architecture the whole fraternity of um uh, this architectural practice can be a better uh, uh, service that can be rendered to everybody who comes in and definitely we as architects definitely have a great potential to make an influence to make a change in this world make uh, this whole place a better place to live uh, a better better nation in the way we can because we can uh, come up with strategies we can come up with um, uh, we can come up with great planning uh, for the city for the uh, urban uh, growth all these things are some things that we can really uh, plan and come up and uh, for all the women architects there Uh, I think something that uh, my dad always encouraged me is to be bold and courageous in whatever you do. Um, to stand up for what is right, stand up for what is uh, good, and uh, I think you'll be able to uh, be uh, able to really shine in this industry. Um, but um, the knowledge that you gain over the experience of practicing in architecture is immense, and so I think uh, the younger architects, everybody with now with the whole trend of uh by the click of the button you can actually order anything and everything and you just get it delivered right at your doorstep is the uh, is the generation we are in right now and so everybody wants everything quick at the press of a button uh, but uh, i was just reading through one of the um, uh the first women architect uh, if i'm right her name is um, julia morgan she was the first american woman architect and uh, she had a she has a very brilliant historical background of how she came up and how she handled she's done plenty of projects and when you read that you kind of understand the uh, kind of uh, uh, journey that she has been through 
and if she is successful and even if you are able to even talk about her after so many centuries, she's back in some her 18th century, to even look at her and think about her, I think that's the kind of mark an individual can actually lay back, lead back in the society wherever they are because they, are, they can be influencers, they can be uh, great uh, people who can uh, make a uh, huge impact in the world that we are in right now.